Hi, it is Dr. O'Gwen here, and as always, I want to answer your questions about the spine, back pain, spine health, whatever it is. And the question of to, uh, the question for today is, why does it feel so good to have your back cracked? Or as some chiropractors would say, it's an adjustment, or even more uh, proper chiropractors would say, oh, no, it's a spinal manipulation, whatever you call it. Why does it feel so good? I especially want to answer this question because there is a misconception that uh, they're just putting a, a, a bone back in place or there are even some chiropractors that take an easy way out of trying to answer this question and say, ah, I'm, putting, I'm putting your bones back in place. Um, no, that's not true. We are not putting uh, bones back in place. If you have a dislocated bone, I promise you the last person you're going to want to see is a chiropractor. You cannot move. Um, joints move just a little bit collectively in the spine, that little bit of movement that we get through each and every joint allows us to have a pretty wide range of motion. Um, so not putting bones back in place. So then let's talk about well, why might it feel so good? First, it feels good in general for most people just to have massage, to have touch, to have uh, uh, things stretched out. And that's because we have little position sensors. We have stretch receptors. We have touch receptors that will feel good when stimulated. Uh, we, we have pain receptors. So we can tell the difference between if we get burned, if we get cut, if we have light pressure with, say, a feather, if we have moderate pressure, if we're being stretched. And that's because we have so many different position sensors and pressure sensors. And when we stimulate these more uh, pressure receptors, you can actually release endorphins, you can release uh, serotonin, and that overrides pain and it just feels pleasant in general. Okay, so why might it feel so good to get the spinal manipulation or why, why do some people have this more profound euphoric uh, effect from an adjustment? Some people might be more prone to having their joints lock up in a way. We've got these little cartilage folds, they're called synovial folds. And for some people, those might be more likely to become restricted or entrapped, they'll say. And it really interferes with the ability for the joint to move the way that it is supposed to be moving. When that happens, the joint is irritated. And if that wasn't enough, there's this reflexive response of the surrounding muscles that they lose their coordination and so they just get tight instead. So the spinal manipulation in a case like this is going to free that joint up, give it that full range of motion that it should have, that it wants, and also there seems to be a possible neurological reflex with that where the surrounding muscles become more coordinated. Um, a lot of researchers are saying the spinal manipulation is somewhat like a restart for the central nervous system, and when you do it, the muscles surrounding that joint have more coordination and they become less tight. So to sum it up, to kind of break that down and make it easier to digest, spinal manipulation for some people, mostly people with restricted joints that don't have a good range of motion in that joint, is going to improve that range of motion, that mobility that they have so they can move more freely, and neurologically uh, reflexes that allow more coordination of the muscles surrounding that joint. So after they get adjusted, they'll say, oh wow, they kind of worked the kink out is, is usually what they'll say or what they report that that feels like. Um, so the key though is knowing exactly where to adjust and that's where having a, uh, a good therapist, chiropractor, anybody who's very good with um, manual therapy and is qualified and trained to do spinal manipulation um, would be very helpful for you. I love answering questions and uh, pairing people up with good chiropractors so if you have comments, questions, uh, please leave them below and if you want help finding somebody uh, that could do a good spinal manip manipulation for you, if that's what you feel you need, leave your comments below and I would be happy to help you out.